Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you a very very simple project which is very useful to be used by those that are getting started in the world of Scratch and want to make their first projects. First of all I'm going to sign in with my account I'm signing in so that you can um, save the project when you have finished or when you haven't finished but you want to continue uh, another day but if not you can directly click on create and you're going to be able to work anyway so let's click on create we're going to delete the cat and first of all here in backdrops we're going to add a bedroom this one for example now here we're going to choose a sprite uh, which is going to represent um, me. So let's take D. I'm going to change the size a little bit. 120. Let's place it here. And D is going to speak about um, my hobbies. Or my routine. Well, So um, let's choose a sprite that is going to represent one of my hobbies. Basketball. Well, actually I prefer soccer but but let's put a basketball and also I'm gonna add um, bananas so that I can represent um, that I like eating fruit or I eat fruit every day something like that okay um, I'm gonna write a title to the project my hobbies and I'm gonna save it all right um, to begin with let's go to D um, D in event is gonna speak when I click on the green flag um, so whenever we start the project and when clicking on the green flag let's go to looks let's pick a say block say for two seconds he's gonna say hello my name's Diego and another block this one for three seconds because it's gonna be a little bit longer click on the object around to find out more information let's see click on the green flag hello my name's Diego click on the objects around to find out more information so as I said let's go to the basketball now and in event when this sprite clicked when this object clicked when we click on the basketball it is gonna say I like playing basketball for three seconds for example let's see when we click it says I like playing basketball now let's go to the bananas and something similar when this sprite clicked it is gonna say for three seconds I eat fruit every day let's see all right, so this is the beginning of the program. Now we're going to add a few more things to make it better. First of all, we're going to add um, some animations to these two objects. For example, in the bananas, we're going to make them turn after speaking. Turn is here in motion. But if I want to make them turn, because this turn is going to do this. But if I want a constant rotation, I need a repeat and I'm gonna repeat 36 times turn 10 degrees let's see I eat fruit every day and it rotates let's increase that so that it finishes two laps excellent and now in the basketball something different we're gonna make the basketball change color and it's gonna be changing color forever after having spoken let's put um, a small number and let's see when I click it says I like playing basketball and it starts changing color okay if you want um, a slower change change this number sorry two if this number is big the change of color is is greater in and faster 
All right, so we have that. <clears throat> and now another idea. Um, when I click on the basketball, the backdrop is going to switch. OK, and we're going to switch backdrop to a basketball court. And when we click on the banana, we're going to switch backdrop to a fridge. So let's go to backdrops, backdrops. And as you see, I have two for the moment. The blank backdrop that I had at the beginning, I'm going to delete it and the bedroom. So I need to add two more backdrops, a basketball and the refrigerator. OK, so let's go back to the code and to D. And I'm going to modify that because at the beginning, at the very beginning of my program, I want to switch backdrop to bedroom. So put this here, bedroom. And whenever we start the program by clicking on the green flag, we will be in the bedroom. And now basketball. What are we going to do before we say I like playing basketball? So when we click, but before speaking, we're going to switch backdrop to basketball. And after speaking, we're going to go back to the bedroom. Let's see. We click here. It says I like playing basketball and we go back. Maybe you're wondering why the basketball and the bananas speak instead of D speaking. That's something we will solve, solve at the end. And let's go to the bananas and let's repeat the same process. At the beginning, when we click on the bananas, we're going to switch backdrop to refrigerator. And um, after saying I eat fruit every day, we're going switch ba to switch backdrop back to the bedroom. Let's see. Correct. Another problem could be that um, when we switch back up to the basketball court, it doesn't make sense that the bananas are there. So um, one idea is this. We could explain the bananas that when backdrop switches to basketball, they have to hide. And that is going to work, but it's going to have a small problem. Look, they hide. But now in the bedroom, they do not come back and they don't come back because we haven't done this. When backdrop switches to bedroom, I want to show the bananas and we can repeat this in the basketball as well. What we're going to do is when backdrop switches to refrigerator, we're going to hide the basketball refrigerator. And when backdrop switches to bedroom, we're going to show the basketball. Green flag, bananas. OK, the basketball hides. And the basketball shows again. And the final problem, um, why do the objects speak instead of D? OK, um, the solution is quite easy. Look, here in the basketball, uh, instead of making the basketball speak, I'm going to put a wait for three seconds. So when we click on the basketball, we will go here for three seconds and then we will come back to the, to the bedroom. Who is going to speak D? So let's copy this text. Control C. Let's get rid of uh, rid of it. We don't need it anymore. And now in D, when is D going to speak? When backdrop switches to basketball it is gonna say this i like playing basketball so when we click here now it's d speaking saying he likes playing basketball which is something that that makes more sense um if i go to the basketball it is waiting three seconds so um so that it coincides i'm gonna make d speak for three seconds now the same in the bananas Instead of the banana saying, I eat fruit every day, I'm going to copy this text. Let's get rid of this block and substitute by a wait three seconds. And now D, when backdrop switches to refrigerator, um, say for three seconds, I eat fruit every day. 
And let's save because the project is finished. When we click on the green flag, it says, hello, my name is Diego. Click on the objects around to find out more information. When we click on the basketball, we switch backdrop, his peaks, the bananas hide, and we come back and the animation works. When we click on the bananas, I eat fruit every day. We switch backdrop, the basketball hide, we come back, the basketball shows, animation. So the project is completely finished. You can add more objects to make it more interesting and more complete. But this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, as I said, it is very good for those who are getting started in the world of Scratch. And I will see you in another video. Ciao!